Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and to a new video. Have you ever encountered a situation where your system won't boot and you would like to restore it from a previous snapshot if you have the BadRFS file system and TimeShift installed? So today this is what I'm going to show you in this video and not only from the GUI but also from the CLI. So without too much talking, let's jump into the video. So guys, today I want to show you something particular about TimeShift and the BadRFS file system. This is the installation of Arch I did a few days ago for the April monthly install uh, of Arch in 2022 with the April 2022 ISO. And if you haven't watched that video and saw how I built this system, you can go back there and see how I did it. This is a system with BadRFS encryption time shift uh, as VRAM and the kernel 517, which is the latest kernel available here on Arch. Now, let me pull up here shortly the console and let me go full screen here and increase the font sizes. You can see, so you can see better. And let me type in here cat slash Etsy slash FSTAB so that you can see the BadRFS volumes I have in this machine. So you can see here, according to an installation I've done last week, I have a root sub volume and a home sub volume here with the options I usually use with BadRFS. And also with LSBLK, I can show you here, I have my ZRAM about eight gigabytes up and running. Now, what I'm going to show you in this video is how you can recover a system with the BadRFS file system. So better said, if something happens on your system, you're doing an update or an upgrade or installing new packages and something is not working right. So what happens? How can you recover your system? This is one of the reasons why I recommend people to use BadRFS, especially with a distro like Arch, which is a rolling release with bleeding edge packages. So if your system becomes unstable, you have always a choice to roll back to a previous snapshot where you had more stability. So this is also the reason why I installed TimeShift here on this system. So as you know, we have TimeShift here installed. I installed it in the last installation video. So let me pull it up here. And here there are a couple of snapshots that were taken during the installation. You can see the installation is from a couple of days old already. So the first thing here, let's do an update of the system just to make sure that we are up to date. This is after all Arch. So I'm gonna type in, in Paru because I have Paru installed. This is the helper for the AUR. Enter my password here and proceed with the upgrades. And as you can see, we have nothing. So the system must have been now up to date. I must have updated this already before I forgot. Anyway, this is an hypothetical scenario. So whether you install something new or something breaks on your system, this is what we are going to simulate here. And I'm gonna show you how you can recover your system from the console, because sometimes you cannot log in into the GUI anymore, into the graphical user interface. And so you have still time shift available in the console for you to recover from a previous snapshot. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull up again time shift here and give it a password, of course. And I'm going to create a new snapshot here with create. And as you can see here, this is the snapshot I just created at 1056. This is the time now. And so this is my stable system, let's say. So let's hypothetically say that you are installing something or removing something or some update or upgrade happens on your system and the system breaks. So I'm going to simulate this by doing a very stupid thing, which is removing the display manager, but leaving it enabled. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to type in sudo pacman dash R for remove, and I'm going to remove sddm. And I know that I need to remove also sddm dash kcm. This is the KDE module for sddm. I need to remove it, otherwise I can't remove sddm. So then let's press enter and you can see I'm going to remove the packages. So this is going to take a moment. Now, when I reboot the machine here, it's going to boot directly into the console because there is no display manager available. But again, this is an hypothetical scenario. It can be something else and it can be that your system is hanging, for example, before the graphical boot. And so I'm going to show you how you can solve the problem. So let's reboot here our machine. Let's suppose we did an update or something else and the system won't work correctly. So Let's boot up the machine here. This is actually with encryption. As you know, we did this the last time. So I'm going to enter my password 
and the system is going to boot up fine but in my case here i'm not going to be able to boot into stdm because i removed it but in your case it might be something else in your case you might not even see the console and it just my hangs there with the cursor blinking in that case you can hit on your keyboard Control alt f2 and you will be brought here in this console exactly at the arch logging so when you are there or like in my case i came directly here you can log in normally with your user and with your password, of course. And so now you might ask, okay, how can we recover now with TimeShift? We don't have a GUI. Well, TimeShift has also actually a CLI or a command line interface. And to use it, you need to have sudo privileges. Otherwise you won't be able to do that. So it's very important that if you're using a normal user, you use sudo and you have sudo privileges for that user, or you have to switch to the root user. Now I'm gonna stay here in the user. So I'm gonna use sudo in my case. So the first command to check which snapshots are in the system, it's sudo time shift dash dash list, and then hit enter. So we need to authenticate. And so you can see here, we have some information. We see where the timesheet backups are mounted. We see the device, the UUIDs, the path, and so on. And we see also how many snapshots we have in our system. We have the ones we saw before in the graphical interface. So now you have to decide which one you want to restore. Now, this is, of course, it's going to depend where your snapshots were taken and when they were taken and how your system was in that moment. So, for example, in my case, the latest snapshot, the snapshot number three, was the last one I took when the system was still, let's say, stable, when STDM was still there. In your case, it might be something else, as I said before. So how can we restore the third snapshot in this case? Well, we can use, again, sudo and then time shift dash dash restore and then hit enter now it's going to be asking you which snapshot you want to restore so in my case it's number three so i'm going to type in number three and so here it says to restore with default options press enter key for all prompts so this is what we're going to do here i'm going to press enter once and there is a disclaimer of course this comes without warranty that it's going to work but i can be fairly confident that it's going to work in my case and I've tried this actually a couple of other times and it always has been working for me at least. So continue with the restore. We need to confirm this with yes and then hit enter. And it's going to basically restore the snapshot. So you can see the snapshot will become active after the system is rebooted. So let's try it out. Let's type in reboot. And we'll go again through the whole boot sequence here. So we'll have to enter the password for the encryption. And if the restore worked, we should be greeted by STDM again, and the system should be working just fine. And there you go, we have here STDM, so we can enter the password. And here is our KD desktop environment. So let me pull up again the console and increase the font size here. And I'll type in which SDDM to see if it is installed. And you can see indeed it's there. So it's that easy. Even your system is unstable, became unstable after an upgrade, an update or something else or you installed packages, you can recover from a snapshot very easily. So if you have also grabbed BudRFS instead of systemd boot, like in my case, you can also start from the snapshots directly there. But in my case, I don't have that. So I had to log into the console and restore the snapshots from the time shift CLI. Anyway, I wanted to show you how you can do this because it's a very handy way to recover your system if and when it becomes unstable. Now, I had to use this actually very rarely, to be honest with you, but you know, it can happen. Last week I was testing out actually the GNOME 42 release and when I enabled the GNOME unstable repo, for some reason it didn't work and my system hung that boot. So I just could restore my system here with time shift and the snapshots restoring. So it was absolutely okay. So I definitely recommend you to install time shift if you have BudRFS and eventually try this out by yourself by, you know, removing one package like I did and then restoring the snapshot just to see how it works so that you get confidence with it. Anyway, this is all I wanted to show you in this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to answer you as soon as I can. So there you go. This was one situation on how you can recover your system if you have the BudRFS file system and TimeShift installed there. So if you have any question about the video, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. This helps me a lot. See you very soon in the next video.